to the personal and legal fallout of Hunter Biden's drug addiction, his public drug addiction, came into a sharp and painful focus today as his ex-wife and others took the stand. Hunter Biden left the courthouse today after watching detailed testimony from his ex-wife. Kathleen Buell told a jury the couple divorced after she found multiple crack pipes around Hunter. She said she was worried, scared for him, and for their three children, whom she sought to protect. Quote, I would check the car to make sure they were not using the car with drugs in it, end quote. Buell said she continually checked the car from 2015 to 2019, but admitted she didn't know the precise date she searched, and she never actually saw Hunter do drugs. Also on the stand, Zoe Keston, a former stripper who spent weeks with Hunter in various hotels across the country, including L.A.'s high-end Chateau Marmont in 2018, the same year he allegedly lied on a federal gun form. Keston is testifying under immunity, saying from their first meeting at a New York gentleman's club, Hunter Biden was a crack cocaine user, using roughly every 20 minutes at times. Keston also says Hunter gave her a texted code that was good for five minutes at a time so she could withdraw large sums of cash from an ATM machine. She says he did the same with drug dealers. Much of the evidence gathered came from Hunter's laptop. An FBI agent said on the stand there's no evidence someone tampered with its contents. Hunter Biden has been candid about his drug use and portions of his audio memoir have been used against him in court. Crack takes you into the darkest recesses of your soul as well as the darkest corners of every community. Prosecutors showed the gun Hunter owned in 2018 for 11 days. The store employee who sold him the Colt handgun said Hunter came into the store looking for a gun. But this contradicts That's the one I have right now. told jurors earlier this week when he said that Hunter was at a nearby cell phone store in Wilmington that casually walked into a gun store and was sort of led to the gun counter and maybe felt a little pressure to buy a gun. This employee, Gordon Cleveland, also testified that he personally saw Hunter Biden check no in that box that said he was not addicted to or using illegal drugs at the time, which is really the heart of this entire case, Brett. David, what is the prosecution saying about how long they think uh, their case is going to take? Well, reading the tea leaves, this may end a little bit sooner than we originally thought. At the end of court today, one of the prosecutors said they could wrap up their case in chief by tomorrow. It depends on what the defense would do if they even put on a case to let us know when this may end. We're still waiting for one big witness, Hallie Biden, Bo Biden, Hunter Biden's late brother's widow. She was also in a relationship with Hunter and threw out that gun at the center of this entire case. We're waiting to see when she's going to take the stand, if she takes the stand, Brett. Okay, David Spock in Wilmington, Delaware. David, thank you. There are renewed concerns.